I've been trying to figure out the best way to make some tongs and uh, I'm new to this blacksmithing and, and uh, need some tongs and I acquired a few pairs from some friend of mine he uh, gave me a couple of these pairs here and then uh, found this pair of nips yeah where I bought some horseshoes and then I bought some of these here Ken's custom iron works uh, go ahead and plug him anyway he uh, bought some of his tongs and assembled those and they came out really good obviously and uh, because they're already cut out flame cut so I thought well stupid you have a torch and a plasma cutter uh, why don't you cut out some yourself so the last pair that I had of Ken's custom iron works was these scrolling tongs that I hadn't assembled yet so I looked at those and kind of made these I'm gonna try to make these into wolf jaw tongs and uh, try to make these into the bolt jaw tongs and uh, what I did was I cut them out with my torch then I clamped them together kind of ground them down to where they match make sure they match and they match they match really really good so uh, I just think this is the way to do it I mean uh, hopefully uh, it works out good for me but I need some smaller tongs because I want to make some uh, small quarter inch stuff and the tongs that I made so far they don't want to hold quarter inch they three eighths is about small as they want to get this was the first pair I ever made here and I keep going back and modifying them and revamping them and they're just too thin didn't know what I was doing and that was before I started watching Roy at Christ Center Iron Works his videos where he forges down some half inch material to make a set of tongs like these and uh, or five eighths even he does I'll just tell you right now I ain't got that in there and I realize he only does it to show the videos and probably does one half on the power hammer he admits it most of the time he does one half on the power hammer but uh, I've home built a power hammer it's not a straight drop hammer so it doesn't work for that real well and I uh, made this press and it's straight down but it's still uh, I need a lot more practice with it to get good at it enough to be drawing out some tongs so I have made a pair where I uh, actually I don't know where they are but I made a pair the other day I welded some rings to and uh, I'm alright at welding here's some I made out of rebar when I first started also uh, messed up with these I thought it'd be cool to put these loop handles on like a pair of scissors and then when you put them in these rings I made put other stuff in there with them they're hard to get out they look cool they're not real tough uh, they will hold 3 8 round bar really good but uh, try to make these make some quarter inch uh, stuff like I said but they're just not not doing it here's the ones I made the other day I wanted some S hook tongs I saw on somebody's channel to hold the S hook and they came out alright I welded those rings on there forged those out of five eighths I think or half inch half inch bar uh, square bar so I, I got my forging down but it was cross between that press and me making my elbow sore so uh, anyway that's what I got for now I'll put a part two up when I'm done with those two pairs of tongs there and assemble those uh, scrolling tongs from Ken's so anyway I, I recommend the Ken's custom iron work see ain't nobody's paying me to say this but uh, if you're just getting started tongs are a lot harder than these guys online make it look and they admit they make it look easy most of them do but I'm just telling you right now they are tricky to get right and uh, matter of fact to make that set I just showed you it took me four tries I've got little ends laying all around now because you forget that they have to be mirror imaged forget which way you turn them and then they oddly enough those would fit together I didn't even know that 
I was so frustrated by the time I was done with that. I, I didn't even know those two fit together. But anyway, they're, they're, they got they got thrown, and some are out there in the yard somewhere. Some are over there in a pile of scrap, and it just it's just hard to do. Uh, you can need practice. It needs practice. And if you're a young guy and you can practice, practice. But if you're an older guy like me and already had your elbow fixed one time, don't uh, beat yourself to death. Find you somebody with a plasma cutter or a water jet and uh, get them cut out. Buy Ken's Custom Iron Workers. They're cheap. Cheap enough. You get five or six sets on there and, and uh, all you have to do is drill a hole and put a rivet in them. He even furnishes the rivets. You can draw the handles out if you want to or grind them where they're not going to hurt you and use them like they are. They come just like this. Use them like they are. Grind the handles smooth, whatever, but don't uh, beat yourself up for not being able to make a pair of tongs. I fabricated all kinds of stuff, built all kinds of stuff, and and them tongs are uh, baffling. I'm, I'm not a fabricator. I've said that before on this channel, and I'm not a welder. But I tell you right now that them, them tongs... Uh, they can work you over. So, anyway, that's my thoughts for the day and little project. So, uh, thank y'all for watching. And I never said this before either, but hit the subscribe button if you did watch. It don't hurt you to support us and hit the subscribe button. It don't cost you a dime. Thank you. Appreciate it.